Um, there's also different co-ops like classical, <laughs> classical conversations and things like that that you can join. This is Jude. Can you say hi? Hi. So there's lots of different um, ways for you to get plugged in and so you're not like alone in the world as far as homeschooling goes. There's lots of Facebook groups, um, there's YouTube videos like this and different moms in the community. So you're definitely not alone in the world as far as that goes. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, my name's Jamie. If you are new, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe down below. Stick around here so we can get to know each other a little bit better. Um, I'm in a little bit of a different filming area, basically because my kids are downstairs and this was the only time I could film. So I'm in my bedroom right now. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, but today I wanted to do a really fun video. I'm collabing with a handful of homeschool mamas here on YouTube. We are all sharing topics about homeschooling. Um, some of us have older children we're homeschooling and some of us are like myself who are brand new at this and have really little ones. We are also all doing a giveaway so stay tuned towards the end of this video. I'll share more details on that with you guys. Um, but first off I guess I just wanted to share a little bit about myself if you are new. My name is Jamie and I am 28 years old and I have three kids with my fourth on the way. I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband just finished seminary and my kids are all very close together in age. So my daughter Fiona is five, my son Ezra will be four in November, and then my son Jude just turned two this last May. And we are due with our fourth, another baby girl, um, her name will be Ingrid, and she is due actually on Ezra's birthday in November. <laughs> so life is super crazy on this end of uh, things for us, but it's good and we've chose to homeschool. Now because my kids are really little, we are still like dipping our toes in the water right now. And if you guys are familiar with my channel, then you already know this, but if you're not and you wanna stick around, then you will learn very quickly that we are real life over here. Um, we just kind of take each day as it comes, and sometimes um, being a stay-at-home mom is not as glamorous as we all like to think. Sometimes it involves um, eating chocolate, drinking wine, not when you're pregnant, or iced coffee in the bathroom and locking yourself in there because it just gets a little bit crazy sometimes. I'm pretty laid back and because my kids are really little, um, this is kind of trial and error for me right now. So I wanna share with you guys the things that I am using as a mom of a preschooler and then um, a kindergartner as well this year. This is going to be stuff that, I do have some curriculum, but I also have stuff that's just really attainable to anybody. I don't believe in a strict schedule schedule as far as little kids go. This is a time for them to play. This is a time for them to learn um, by doing things, by interacting, by playing, by using their hands. And so that's kind of what I implement in my house. But I do have um, some workbooks and some things that we do utilize or we are planning on utilizing this fall. All right, guys. So I think the number one question that I get asked is what kind of curriculum am I doing? And I use the term curriculum very loosely <laughs> because I do have little ones, um, but I have used the Horizons preschool curriculum with my daughter when she was three and four, and then also with Ezra, and I plan to do the same with Jude. Horizons is a Christian-based curriculum, um, but I love it because it kind of encompasses all different types of learning. So there's like science, outdoors stuff, there's experiments you can do, there's Bible verses, Bible stories, there's songs. Um, I am the kind of person where I'm like, just wrap it all up and give it to me and, and the less thinking and planning that I have to do, at least in this stage of my life, while my kids are all really little, that's like, that's the best for me. <laughs> so I really like Horizons. This is their preschool for threes curriculum. And I plan to do this curriculum um, with Ezra and then somewhat with Jude as well this fall. And then I am doing the Horizons kindergarten curriculum with Fiona. The Horizons kindergarten curriculum has reading, spelling and writing, math, and lots of other fun stuff in it. So once again, it's kind of like an all-encompassed, wrapped up in a nice bow curriculum, which I really like. That being said, I will be taking pieces that I like, and if there's something that doesn't apply or something that I just feel like isn't really necessary, then I will skip over that. The next thing that I have been loving to use with my kids are these Osborne Wipe Clean books. So if you guys are not familiar with Osborne, they're just like 
phenomenal books for kids and they've got all kinds of age ranges they're interactive they make you think and I just really really like them and so I have the numbers one I have the first letters and I don't normally just like sit down and have my kids do these at home by any means these are usually things that I implement when we're driving in the car um, when maybe they just need something to kind of stay busy maybe we're at a doctor's appointment um, because they're learning and they're practicing and they don't even realize they're doing that you know and since you don't get these all the time these are special they're kind of like coloring and they're basically just tracing and learning and um, once again it's hands-on they're not sitting there listening to a lesson they can do stuff they can sometimes they just like color the pictures on there sometimes they don't trace and that's okay um, that's where we're at right now but I do really like those and I know that you can get stuff like that sometimes in the dollar section of Target as well as at the Dollar Tree they have like wipe clean practice stuff like that so keep an eye out for that if you're at those places and you're looking okay, speaking of the Dollar Tree and the Target dollar section I have picked up a few things from the from both of those places this year coming into um, looking forward into this fall I picked up a calendar I picked up a days of the week thing to hang up on our wall and then also um, I have a big ABC poster that I don't know if I got that from horizons or if I got that from the dollar section the dollar spot from Target but those are really great to just kind of have if you have a homeschooling room those are bomb to be able to put up I do not have a homeschooling room we do it inside of our kitchen but if you have a specific area for that and you don't want them hanging up in your house that is even better so those are really nice to have just to kind of visually the kids can see it and um, it doesn't feel like they're just like sitting down at the kitchen table or sitting down in this blank room. There's stuff for them to look at and it's nice to be able to point to things and just have, you know, big illustrations and things like that. And they were super cheap because they were from the dollar spot. And I also know that um, the Dollar Tree as well has stuff like that too. I have a supply of flashcards and things like that. And I have used some of those things, but I found that I've been most successful with flashcards if they're kind of games or if they're like math matching or memory, things like that that the kids can um, match opposites together or they can match um, big letters with little letters, the kind of things like that. So I would recommend if you're looking for that kind of thing for little kids, make it interactive um, so it's not just like you're holding up a flashcard and they're saying that's an A or um, one plus one equals two, you know. Homeschooling for us looks like field trips and time out of the house a lot. I have plans to go to the apple orchard this fall with my kids, um, go and play with friends friends at parks and um, go to the museum, the aquarium, things like that. A lot of places like that will offer discounts for homeschooling families, so keep that in mind. As well as we are a part of a co-op this upcoming fall, which I'm super excited about. Um, so be on the lookout in your local communities for co-ops. Sometimes if you are a Christian or if you have a certain religion, they will have co-ops kind of geared towards that. Um, there's also different co-ops like classical, classical conversations and things like that that you can join. This is Jude. Can you say hi? Hi. So there's lots of different um, ways for you to get plugged in and so you're not like alone in the world as far as homeschooling goes. There's lots of Facebook groups. Um, there's YouTube videos like this and different moms in the community. So you're definitely not alone in the world as far as that goes. Um, so that is basically kind of how we do homeschooling. I have marbles and dice and fun things like that. We do lots of crafting and play-doh and hands-on stuff um, my kids make messes do you guys make messes yes you do um, and you know we just have a lot of fun we got a lot of little kids right now so that's kind of what it looks like for us as far as the giveaway goes we're giving away three amazing homeschooling slash mom geared books for you guys one of which is authored by my good friend Michelle Pearson who is a YouTube mama and so I will have a list of those down below as far as the giveaway rules as well be sure to go check out all the other moms participating in this collab we've all worked really hard on our videos and we've all got something special to offer the homeschooling community so be sure to check out that giveaway for those books and go subscribe to all the other moms participating um, I'm so excited to watch their videos and learn about all the ways that they're homeschooling and the things that they have to offer as well so I hope you guys have a good day oh thumbs up thumbs up if you guys like this video and subscribe right subscribe and comment down below and let me know all the things that you like about homeschooling or what you do in your family right this is Fiona you say hi Hi. Ezra is still downstairs. I think he's playing with Play-Doh, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching.
Bye. See you later. Bye.